Hello and welcome. My name is Wanda Anderson. It's my pleasure to invite you to join me in this presentation. Come on, we're going to have some fun. Stop. Caution. Vegan kitchen. What's a, what's a vegan? A vegan is a person that only eats plants. For example, we eat fruits, vegetables, legumes, and grains. We do not eat meat of any kind or use dairy products. You ask why? To be healthy. If you're healthy, you don't need medications. If you have good blood pressure, uh, good cholesterol, and you're not overweight, you have good health as a rule. Would you like to have good health? Come on, join me. Let me show you how. First thing we want to do is change from dairy milk, which makes you sick, to nut milk, healthy nut milk. There's a variety. You can use any kind of nut. For example, sesame seed. You can have sesame seed milk. Great for calcium that your body can absorb. How about Brazil nuts? Great for selenium. You can mix it up. You can have whatever nut milk you would like. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to make almond milk. It's a quick and easy recipe. It only takes three ingredients. So let's get started. First, we start with one cup of unsoaked almonds. Most nuts have a skin that contains phylic acid and enzymes that make it hard to digest. So soaking them overnight or for one or two days allows the body to digest the nuts and the nutrition very easily. It's always one that gets away. Okay. You want to put enough water in that covers the almonds quite a bit because they do plump up. Again, so you just want to put this in the fridge for a day or two. These almonds have been soaked and you want to drain them because there's a sediment. If you have a Vitamix, they're, they're wonderful because you can puree all the nuts quite nicely. The ratio of almond milk to make almond milk is one cup of nuts to four cups of water. There's a variety of uh, nut milks that can be uh, made. Some people use vanilla. You can make chocolate almond milk. This is Wonder Cocoa by Wonder Slim. It is 97% caffeine free. I like this product because my body doesn't like caffeine. In the recipe, I use five or six dates, as well as some uh, about a teaspoon and a half of lemon juice, and one pinch of salt. The salt brings out the flavor. The lemon juice 
helps um, with the, the acidity of the lemon juice, helps to preserve the milk longer. So I find with my nut milks, three, four days, even five days, the nut milks are fine. Of course, I keep them in the fridge. Make sure that your lid is secure. Sometimes it can fly off. We use a nut, nut bag. In my area, you can buy these at um, a supplier called Upea Naturals. I use, I use the nut bag to strain the pulp. If you like pulp, then you don't need to strain it. You do need to squeeze it. Here we are. This is probably a good time to tell some jokes. Some vegan jokes. What did one vegetarian spy say to another? We have to stop eating like this. How about... Um, what's the difference between broccoli and boogers? Kids don't, don't eat broccoli. <laughs> about let me see let's see if I can find another one here for you well I can't read it <laughs> you just want to squeeze that as, as hard as you can the pulp can be used um, after, if you wish. If you have a dehydrator, you can dry the pulp and put the pulp back into the Vitamix and make uh, almond flour. Then you can put it into an, any recipe you wish, make uh, cookies or whatever, whatever you like. milk has homemade almond milk has a lot of flavor much more than bottom almond milk so let's taste it and just see how delicious it is Here we are. Oh my, delicious. Lots of flavor. You can taste the almonds. Only you can make a difference for yourself, for your health, for the planet, to be compassionate. Thank you for your time. My pleasure to present this to you.